Hey, Masters of Speed, that's Terra Master. No, I'm Terra Master. That's Drake. What? Uh, we're here with uh, another form of different content. We keep mixing it up. We keep having new ideas. And uh, this one, since we're doing predictions, why don't we do predictions in a different way? You're saying, what are you talking about? Drake, what are we doing? All right, so we're taking old archetypes and we're adding one new card they don't have and seeing how much it actually improves the deck. Yep. And we're calling it One Card Is All It Takes. Falling in love with Speed Duel. The possibilities. This card looks like all you need. If you get the reference, leave a comment. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, let's go. Uh, so you'll see our decks very soon. As soon as we like start to get set up, you'll know what decks we're playing. Once we draw our opening hands, honestly. Uh, yep. So I am on Cyberdarks. Drake is on Ancient Gear. You already can already see the card we added for Ancient Gears. Is it enough? Is it enough? Yeah, that's that's really the the goal here is to have a balanced card addition, right? Like for Ancient Gears, you could obviously add a broken card like Reactor Dragon, but the choice is to not do that. That's not the point. Yeah, like, what's the least OP card they could get and still become relevant? Right. And the thing with Ancient Gears is, on that point, is you just need a good target for Gear Town. Mm -hmm. That and, uh, improves the deck so much. Right. Just a vanilla 3000 is actually, as it turns out, well, you'll see. You'll see. I don't want to say it. All right. Uh, I, mean, I have opened the not, God. It's not fully a vanilla. It's not. That's right. It, it does stop battle traps. You're right. So I got the Cosmic. So Cosmic lets a Cyberdark, and now you're going to see what my new card is. What is it? Cyberdark Cannon. We did All upgrade right, so the Claw. Skill, yeah, Skill grabs a Cannon. Yep. It's actually a lot better than Claw, I think. It's a lot better than Claw. Because you just, you just pitch it, and you get your edge. It gives you, it gives you an edge in that card game. It literally gives you an edge. All right, so we've got 2400. We're used to seeing that. Some back row. Easy monarch yeah. stats. I just take it. I take 300 damage. Take it out. Look at this. We've got our combo. We got Gear Town with Galaxy Cyclone. Yeah. Has to be set for Galaxy. Yes. But here's our dragon with protection. Exactly. All right. Uh, yeah, so we got zero gravity because we are playing under the, the the limited list, so we do have to use traps such as zero gravity. Yep. There you so go. So we get rid of my zero gravity, but I do get to put the dragon back in attack mode, which is pretty nice. Yep. I do get to skill again though because I did have another cosmic. Cosmic is really good in this deck for that reason. And uh, yeah, got another cannon. And that was literally going to become an edge no matter what, because the cannon is just going to become an edge. Yeah. So, boom, boom. And uh, now we're going to do Justice's favorite speed duel tactic. So attack, attack the opponent directly. Just attack the opponent directly. Like monster, which I don't care. I don't care about monsters. So we're dead next turn if we don't draw. Oh, look at this. A zero gravity. Justice playing Hearthstone, always go face. If you play Hearthstone, you know what that means. All right. Yeah. So we can take some damage. Um, yeah. What is Nine, that? 900 damage. Nine, 900 damage. But then he draws a card off of Cannon's effect. Yeah. So Cannon sent to the graveyard or crypto a monster. You draw a card. And Edge, when it would be destroyed, um, destroys the equip card instead. So. Already a lot better than... Uh, their their old uh, claw, yeah, claw. Yeah, so not only are you consistently picking up twenty four hundred normal summons every turn, but it also has an effect. It also has another effect which I just didn't have a use for because I drew both my roids. But these are supposed to be just targets to send from deck to grave with uh, with this effect here. Yeah, I just I just a mixed roid specifically. Yeah, I just drew it, so that's fine. 
Gonna go directly for two attacks to win the game. Got zero gravity. I didn't have another zero gravity or a sphere, which I do play myself. So it's just it was just a game of who had more back row. Yeah, you might as well go for it. Yeah. Who had more back row? Not me. That, that was game. Is indeed lethal. Yep. So yeah, I mean you can see both cards, uh they totally add to this deck. Uh, I mean, they make their their respective decks playable, yeah. yep. as opposed to where they're at now, which is not playable. No, I not at all. I don't think I don't think either of them are too good. Um, Cannon is pretty strong. I think out of those two cards, Cannon is probably the stronger card. Yeah, I think the thing to keep in mind though is that Cannon would have to compete with Banisher. Or, like, against Banisher. So, that would obviously slow it down. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, does Gear Town also activate... In, does Gear Town activate in the graveyard, or does it just say destroyed in any way and sent anywhere? Never um, read it. Yeah. Never read a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Nobody's ever read Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All right, um, what we're going to do now is actually show you the deck list. So uh, before we go, because I know if we don't, there's going to be like 20 people asking for them. Um, so let's let's go take a look at those lists. All right, this is the Cyberdar deck. Uh, you can see we're running our three cannons and three edges. That is like, like six cards that are necessary. Like I think those slots are not flex at all. Uh, Horn is semi-flex because you can play Horn or Keel depending on what you think is better. I think or Piercing not, Damage is better. Hmm? Yeah, you could also just not play 6. You could play 5. You could play 4. That's true. That's true. Yeah, because they're so consistently searchable. Uh, it's it's easy to imagine you're not needing 6. So that, that yeah, I got you to agree with that. Um, and this is just like something. Like Mixeroid is to send, obviously, off the cannon effect. And then this is just to give Mixeroid a target. Right. Uh, so, yeah, and also, both, both those yeah, are definitely flexible, but they do work with sphere and zero gravity. Yep. And, yeah. And the grave of the grave effect of Mixeroid can come up. Right, because you have because the way we built this, we had six machines already. Right, so you're very easily having access to in the late game, um, at least Necroid Shaman and Ambulance Rescue Roid. So, uh, yeah, this it was just the best we could think of right like this isn't really a deck you want to play something like malicious or dasher in, and we're not we're not a format with too many other good graveyard effects like i don't think you want to play like vampires randomly either that's just doesn't make any sense so uh yeah and then yeah so spheres zero grav right because you're half your monster attack directly half of them pierce and then there's one that just pops defense monsters so putting your opponent's monster into defense there's nothing wrong with that um, I will say I would worry about Banisher in a deck that plays Cannon and Sphere. So yeah. maybe keep that in mind, depending on like if this actually were to happen, were you planning on beating Joey? Right, you'd probably have to consider that. Um, this is just something we added last minute because you're like, eh. If you don't, if you don't draw Cannon or Cyclone or some way to get to it. Right, this kind of just gets to cannon for you, and then right. you'll draw one of your six. Like, it's not hard to imagine happening. Yep. Uh, Cosmic, you saw what it does. Uh, we already talked about Zero Grab. Okay. Side deck is just, like, very... It's very, like, standard where you would put in a... If you were entering a tournament with a Cyber Dark deck, like today, right, you would side deck yeah. something like this. You know, yeah. for a Banisher... Passing around row. the banisters. Yeah. Things to deal with back row and things to deal with grave effects. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. The blue eyes ultimate are just because they're dragons. And cool. They just look cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's your deck. Okay. So you have the most important part, which is the three gear towns. Yep. The three cosmic cyclones to trigger them. And also the three breakers you can also trigger gear towns effect with. Um, and then we have two... Calzertron Dragons, because it is technically possible to summon two in a game, or in a, in a turn. Uh, it's not super likely. You could trim it to one, honestly. 
Um, but also, you can just normal summon it off your skill, potentially. Yeah. Uh, that's the same idea with the Gear Beast. It's just a 2k beater with an effect that you can normal summon if your skill is still alive. Yep. And then, uh, well, we needed a or, couple more. Or if you play Gear Town, yeah. 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 Or with Gear Town, correct. Yep. Um, and then the knights are what we wanted to put in a couple more monsters and speed duel. Speed duel monsters aren't super crazy, but that one is a 21 with your skill up. Yep. So that that's not terrible. Um, we have metaverses to search the field spell. We have zero gravity and shrink to maybe uh, stay alive, uh, keep your monsters alive as well. Zoma, just a good limit one card. Um, yeah, cyborg pretty much same idea as Terra. We got the we got the back row hate, the grave hate, the shrink. The idea there is you want that against Joey. The second ancient gear beast. Uh I got nothing. I just thought I just like that card. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's if you run a, up against a deck where you just need to normal summon more monsters while you have your skill up, it could or, or your your field spell, it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh while okay. we're here, uh okay, it does have to go to the graveyard, so Oh, yeah. okay. Maybe okay. against so Banisher is better to... Yeah. He's also not great against Banisher. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll against see. Banisher, you just want to... That's where you can just put in the Beast, right? Just have another mm -hmm. big normal summon that kills it. Yeah. Yeah. Which they and, can't. Yeah, like the Shrink, Shrink, Dust, and Beast, they're, they're not going to have a good time. No. <laughs> no, they're probably not. Yeah. Also, uh, if they play Battle Traps, you're basically making them not be able to activate those with these two. So... Yep. There's that. Uh, Breaker will also destroy their battle trap. So, well, you have so much back for hate already. Right, so you really just need to get a bigger monster out than them. Yep. Yeah, and then you can feel very confident about just, like, if you get to start a battle phase and your your ancient gear monster is still in attack mode, you're probably doing a lot of damage that turn. Or yeah. at least outing a monster. Yep. So Extra you can deck. feel pretty good. Extra deck is the Bluff Waking. It's the two coolest fusions in the format. No uh, one will about... disagree with that. No one will disagree with this. <laughs> if you disagree, leave a comment. Those uh, are the two coolest fusions. So cool. Look at this. Look at how cool this is. It got lightnings flying everywhere. Yeah. That is a train with freaking uh, helicopter blades. That's the ultimate form of transportation. Ultimate. Okay. Yeah, the ultimate transportation in terms of attack and defense. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, so that's it. We don't want to make this video too long. So uh, that is our first edition of one card is all it takes. So, so what do you what do you think about the two cards? I think they're really good. I think these are two cards that kind of prove how close we are with some of these like rogue tier or even below, you know, F tier decks uh f for fun obviously tier decks that with the right push the right you know if tune ancient gear golem was casual tron dragon right. you could have had a deck that was actually competitively viable if yeah. you know yeah i i think yeah. you could take this to a tournament uh you know change the list up or whatever but i think you could take this strategy to a tournament with just that one card upgrade yeah no, you really could, and, yeah. And then for, for Canon, yeah, kind of the same deal. That deck becomes way more consistent yeah. and a, a more resilient when it gets disrupted. Because a lot of times in the in the build we have now, if you just like disrupt their equip spell, they're, they're not doing anything. Well, if you disrupt this one, at least you get another draw. Another draw can be major because another draw can be a sphere. It can be another normal summon. It's pretty important. Yeah. The consistency is what's huge. Also, I want to point out that this deck did not need to play 30 cards. A lot of the older Cyber Dark builds that actually did well in Speed Duel uh, were playing a lot of cards because they would play a lot of traps just to kind of get to your 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 summons in a way. Or just to, like, you know, protect yourself from losing the game. But because this deck was so consistent at constantly having attackers... You don't need as much disruption. So like the six was fine. And also I think because you don't have to waste space on playing cards like uh, the fusion spell. Right. Which also forces you to play all three. Impact. 
Yeah. And you don't you don't need to run like nine uh normal summons. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So and then on top of that, um, since we're playing cosmic, we can't play floodgates. Of course we would play floodgates and cosmics if we could. But yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So hey. Uh, add two cards and add two new decks to the competitive scene. Easy. That it's easy. So easy. One card. It's, it's literally so easy. We should go back to the days of Trials of the Pharaoh instead of being just this random event. Uh, should just give us new cards. But then it would be hard to get access to them, so maybe not. Maybe but not. Maybe not. Just kidding. Ignore me. Don't maybe worry about maybe we just get these in the extra cards. Maybe we just get these in the extra cards. That's right. Yeah. Old Ark has support in the extra cards. Who yeah. could have asked for anything better? Let's do that. All right, guys. Uh, so until next video, which will be back to our uh, worst best case, uh, Tear Master and Drake, we're out.